Hey there, Santi here. Today I want to share with you some really cool tricks so that you can make your long form text in Tana look from this, which is just bullet point after bullet point, into something like this, which has a bit of headings and different line breaks for different paragraphs, and it just looks a lot nicer. Now, keep in mind this is a workaround. These are based on tricks made by the community, which are really cool, and I just really hope this becomes a built in feature in Tana in the future. So, right now it's not perfect, but if you already can make your long form writing experience inside of Tana a lot better, especially if you want to draft essays or blog posts or something like that. If you're still flirting with Tana and you're still not 100% if this is the app, the right app for you, I made a PDF guide called Is Tana the Right App For You? that is gonna help you assess the pros and cons of this app to see if it's the right fit for your needs. Now with that said, let's get into Tana and I actually want to show you an example. So here I'm just actually using my text expander just to write an essay based on actually chat gpt so yeah this is just an essay just for the sake of example and this is what i, I was talking about right that in tana right now even if i zoom into it everything just bullet point after bullet point and it's not the best formatting for writing in long form so this is an essay and now what i want to show you is that if i use the super tag long form i will show you how to set this up but when i do this Boom, all of a sudden this transforms it into a much nicer place where we're not depending on bullet points. And beyond that, another trick is we can use an additional super tag to create headings and it's pretty crazy. So heading two and so on, right? We can even add a quote by just writing quote. Yeah, that looks quite nice. So that's a blog code formatting. And yeah, this already looks a lot nicer. It's much more visually appealing. All right, so let's set this whole thing up. The first thing we're gonna need is this code created by Jeff Harris. And the worry is very simple to set up. I'll walk you through. And this is what allows us to use the long form super tag in order to achieve what we want. This was originally posted in the Tana Slack community. And here's where he posted his code, but he was very kind and he let me post this on my website where you can simply just copy it like that. And yeah, I spent a couple hours learning to implement this copy button so that you don't have to do this. But yeah, <laughs> hopefully that makes life easier for you. So the idea is that now we're gonna copy this code. Obviously the question is like, okay, where do we paste this, right? Now, what you're gonna need is a browser extension. Now, the one that is actually recommended in this thread is called Stylus, but this one, a lot of people say like it's not very beginner friendly. And the good news is that there's a much simpler one that I will show you right Right now called Tana Enhancer, which was actually created by Andrea from Tana Notes, who I actually interviewed last week. So that's really cool. And what we're going to do is we're going to install this and it's just going to make it super easy to just use code like this. So now back here into Tana, you will see that everything's just like formatted as usual, which is just bullet points and we have no headings and we have no line breaks. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the browser extension we just installed called Tana Enhancer. And in here, now is where we can paste the code that we just copied, right? So the code that we just copied, we're going to paste in here. And now when we save that, it's going to refresh Tana. So give it a second. Perfect. And now when we add the super tag long form, boom, there we go. Now it formats it into paragraphs and is a much nicer view, right? So that already is the first trick. Now in order to do headings, we're going to use another trick, another hack. Now this hack is in GitHub and you can find it in this page made by Alexander. You can find it in custom formats, CSS, but because I know some of you are allergic to GitHub, he was also very kind and he let me post this on the website. So I'll leave this link where you can just copy it like that. And in case this button breaks five seconds after I post this video, you can just do it the old school way and just copy it. And now we're just gonna open up again our Tana Enhancer and we're just gonna go at the end of the previous code and we're just gonna paste that, right? We're gonna save, that is gonna refresh. Now the heading formatting is enabled, which is activated by doing hashtag full stop H1. That is gonna be heading one. If you want to do a heading two, it's quite similar. Hashtag dot H2 and so on. And there's actually the other one that I showed you a second ago, which is this one right here, which is a dot quote. And that is just gonna make it look quite nice. And I think that's super cool. And again, here we can just do H2. And once you already created it once, you can just, you know, you can just manually search H3, which we already have in there, and you just click on it, and there you go. And that's how you format things. So let's do this one H2. And there we go. Now there's something definitely important that you do need to keep in mind, which is the fact that the headings and the different paragraphs and the quotes and everything that we have in here is just essentially an illusion. It's not real because let's say that you copy all of this and you want to send it to a friend who really believes the moon is made out of cheese and you paste it, you realize that all 
all your all your nice formatting all your headings and everything have just turned back into bullet points so yeah keep that in mind that's why i believe it's important to to hopefully have this built into tana tana created a really nice place where now we can just share our future requests and things that we'd like to see in tana and i actually just wrote this one in here so yeah definitely come here and i vote it i'll leave a link in the description in case you also would like to see this built into Tana and you can also comment and give your suggestions here and hopefully the Tana team will implement this into Tana itself. So there you go. I'll leave all the link in the description for all the code you need and everything that you need to set this up. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. And yep. Harry's overrated. I just lost it. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>